Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Tony Rizzano and this is the world famous, the universally love, ladies and gents, the best podcast in one, two, three galaxies. But ladies and gentlemen, you and I, we just call this show Online Marketing Moves and we are coming to you live today. It is December, the something or something another, 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best podcast on Spotify and I don't get paid nothing for this show, okay? I need to call up the the people at Spotify and say, hey, listen, this is the best show you got on Spotify, on Anchor, Spotify. Man, forget Joe Rogan, forget Barack Obama and uh, Bruce Springsteen, forget uh, Meghan Markle and, uh, and um, uh, Dutch Harry. Forget all those clowns, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, this is by far the best show. You know why? Because this is an organic show. This is not a fake. We're not phonies. We don't do phony laughing. We don't do phony banter. Okay? We get to the facts. We get to the truth of the matter. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about something very important today. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about connecting with your audience on a regular basis. Ladies and gentlemen, why can I say this? Ladies and gentlemen, because I am an expert in this. Ladies and gentlemen, you want to connect with your audience every single day that you possibly can you know why whether do i don't care if it's podcast email video you want to connect to your audience every day and the reason why i say that is because i can say that because ladies and gentlemen i will say bb and ab bb before baby ab after baby okay ladies and gentlemen when i was doing this when i started this podcast in 2019 I really got started in 2020, about the summertime. Ladies and gents, we was we was rolling every day. Putting them out. Okay, and then we we was we was getting numbers. We was going up, 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 and up. You know, I was just on the I was just on the cusp. Of getting like a hundred million dollar contract, but you know what I'm saying. My wife, she decided, you know, hey, let's have a baby. I'm only, I'm only kidding about that, folks. I'm only kidding about the uh, the uh, my wife said she wanted to have a baby. We made the decision to have a baby. The hundred million dollar contract was on the table, and I was like, y'all hold off a minute. I gotta see about this baby situation, okay? Uh, but anyway, anyway, ladies and gents. But um, after my wife had the baby, I was still recording episodes. And uh, sometimes they weren't always the best, but we was recording, you know. And then it was a point to where it just, my wife was trying to sell her business. And so I would, you know, I was driving at night. Come, wake, I was driving at night, coming home, taking care, taking care of the baby. You know, because, you know, that's what you got to do. And, um, would, you know, I would stay up most of the day. My wife would come home. I'd get a little sleep. And then I would go, you know, go to work, try to record an episode. And it got to be, it got to be a very daunting task. And so sometimes I would go two days. Sometimes I would go three days, four days, you know. But um, the point that I'm trying to make is, I felt like I, I felt, I felt like I lost the audience a little bit during that time. You know, I was like, I, I, I would record an episode, but I, but I completely understand. It's not, it's not a, hey, F you, you didn't listen, you didn't stick around. It's, it's, people want something to listen to. When I, sometimes I listen to audio books, I listen to podcasts. And a lot, and some days, I'll be sit, I'll be sitting, you know, I'll be at a customer, I'll be at home, and uh, the baby might be taking a nap, you know, and I go, oh, this is a good time to listen to a uh, to a podcast, and I just want to hear something quick, you know, and sometimes I want to hear just n- nonsense. So every every now and then, I'll I'll listen to a wrestling podcast, and so I go to I go to a show that I like. 
and I'm go, oh, they got a new episode. I say they normally drop episodes on this day. I go to I go to that day, nothing. I'm like, oh man, come on, man, you know. And it's annoying, and so it's like I'm gonna stop just because you know you keep they keep missing the days that they say they're gonna be around, you know. And it's like that that sucks. I'm in the same boat. If I say, hey, Monday through Friday, we're gonna come out with a show, and then you go Monday through Friday, it's no show. I mean, I completely understand why you would be like, all right, f this guy, you know. <laughs> I mean. You know, you know, and so I got, I got this, I got the study in this thing here, you know, and I said, self, we're either gonna, you know, you know, you have, we're either gonna piss or get off the pot. Meaning, what that means is, we're either gonna get back to doing shows every day, or we are going to just give up the show because you know it's not fair to the audience to be saying. Hey, man, keep on coming back, man. And there's nothing to come back to. And so I wasn't emailing. I wasn't doing podcasts. There was no there was no communication. There was no touch. And so I told myself, I said, December, we're going to come out swinging. We're going to get back into the swing of things. We're going to start emailing. We're going to start doing We're going to start doing everything we need to do to build up an audience, build up more of an audience, connect, and take it from there. And so far, so good. And for you, ladies and gentlemen, you want to do the same thing. If you say, hey, I'm dropping a podcast every Wednesday, make sure, ladies and gentlemen, please, trust me, make sure you are dropping that podcast every Wednesday. Stay connected. Stay connected. If you do email, it does not matter what type of email. Just write the email. Send them a link. Send them a link to your video. Send them a link to your podcast if you don't have an offer to give them that day or you don't feel like giving them an offer that day just write the email every day and send them somewhere okay keep up with people it's like being in a relationship everything co- goes everything comes back to relationships i remember one time a long time ago long 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 time ago before my beautiful wife showed up on the scene okay so don't be snitching. Don't be snitching to her, okay? But a long time ago, before I met my beautiful wife, I dated this young lady, and I remember we used to have a routine. She would call me in the morning before she was going to work. She would call me in the morning. We would chit-chat about 10, 15 minutes. She would get to work. She would say, hey, have a good day. I'll talk to you around 4 or five whenever I get off. And I go, okay, cool. And I remember one day, it had been a couple, because we, we dated for a few months. And I remember it was like two or three months into the, into the, into the relationship. And I didn't hear from her anymore, you know? And so I thought, okay, maybe she might be busy. So, so I, di- I didn't pick up the phone and call because the routine has been, she would call me when she, was on her way to work. And so I waited. Now I remember I remember this. I was driving out in the country somewhere. I was in North Carolina, South Carolina, somewhere like that. And this is back in the day, like 2006, 2005, 2006. And I had a I had T-Mobile. And back then T-Mobile when you T-Mobile was good for the, being in the city, but back then when you when you start going out towards like Little small towns, T-Mobile, T-Mobile the cell phone, the cell service was bad back then. I don't know how it is now, but it was bad. So you would go go to these little towns and you had no service. And so most of the day, you know, I, I was out there. I didn't have any service. And finally around, let's see, I remember I ran my route. It was like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. I got back out toward a city and I got some service. And... I said, oh, she still hasn't called, you know. And so I, I was going to call, but then I got distracted, and it was at night, and I said, well, I got to drive and park. And I remember I drove, and I parked, and I got I was real sleepy, so I just sort of laid down in the bed. I said, y'all don't let me call her. But I, when I woke up, it was like you know, 7 o'clock in the morning. I remember she called me the next morning, and she was very, very, very pissed off. And she said, 
you you went all day and didn't call me, didn't think about calling me? I said, hey, man, first off, you know, I said in the morning, you didn't call, so I thought something was going on. So I didn't call you. I said, and then, and said in the afternoon, I said my phone service wasn't working. And then when I got up to a city, I, I sort of laid down and went to sleep. And she said, well, I was waiting on you to call me all day. And I was like, why would you do that? She said, because I'm always calling you. I said, that's our routine in the morning. Why are you making it such a big deal? And so, you know, she was pissed off. I was annoyed after that. And it's like, you know, lack of communication. Well, nobody heard from each other. So, and it's early on in a relationship. So I thought, oh, maybe she's breaking up with me. You know, you have, you have all these crazy thoughts. You know what I'm saying? And so the point is, when you want you want to be connected to your audience that's one of the most beautiful things about now this is one of the most beautiful things about the it's what it's a good thing and it's a bad thing the the good thing for 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 people like us you know is hey i'm not going to hollywood and i'm not going to be in an a-list movie anytime soon i don't think i don't think so but I have a chance to gain an audience. I have a chance to be heard because I'm on this podcast, you know, and it's broadcasting, you know, I've been, I've been heard in a few countries. Okay. I'm big in Australia, but anyway, but the point is you can be heard, you know, and when you, when you are a small outfit, when you are a small entity, the best thing you can do is be consistent. The best thing you can do is be present in people's lives because the more it's like any any relationship, the more you're around, the more you grow on people. The more they hear from you, the more they like you. You know, give them more, you'll get more. Give more, you'll get more, okay? And so it's like that. And so when you we all know, we've all we've all done this before. You get into a, you start out, you meet somebody you start off blazing white hot. Oh, I love you. I love everything about them. They're the greatest. Oh, my goodness. They they can't do any wrong. And then about four or five, six months later, nine months later the max, you go, ah, I'm getting kind of sick of this SOB, you know? And then you stop calling. You get a little lazy. You get a little slack. And you go, ah. They ain't going nowhere. They ain't going to leave me. You know, I can stop. I don't have to call them all the time like I used to. And then that's when the relationship is going to go off the rails. Ladies and gentlemen, I've seen it. Ladies and gentlemen, I've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, do not want to be in that situation when it comes to your audience. You want them to be there every day with you, championing you on. You want to be consistent. You want to be present. You want to build. You want to grow. You want to make this a habit. The more you do it, the more habit forming it will be. Ladies and gentlemen, it is to the point now, I've done so many podcasts. And even though the days that I was missing, let me tell you something. It's a weird feeling. I get anxiety now. If I don't, if I, rec if I go... Three days, four days, where I recording, even a day. If I go, because it was so many, it was so many times that I wanted to record, and I, I would, I would have the microphone um, on my shirt. I would lay back. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you this. I would lay back in, the, in my car, in my seat when I got home, and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna take a five minute nap, and I'm gonna wake up and record. <laughs> And I would wake up, my wife would be calling, where you at, where you at? I got to go to work. I said, oh, my side sleeping, sorry. And I, and I had to rip the microphone off and run up, run up and get the baby. And it was, but it was always like nerve wracking. And I always kind of, I was getting antsy, you know. And I just knew I needed to be, be back on the show. I needed to do the show. And after a while, you know, you, you get that way. Because it's your show, it's your baby, you know. I love this show, I love this podcast, you know, more than, 
you know, with the exception of my wife and my baby, of course. But I love doing this podcast more than I love doing anything else during the day. You know, and right now I'm not making the most money at this podcast, okay? I, I, I make a lot more money driving a stupid truck. But the stupid truck, I have no real, you know, it doesn't, doesn't hit me in the feels as it does the podcast because I feel a connection to the audience, you know? I feel, I feel blessed. I'm very blessed that I've, that people listen to the show. I'm very blessed that, because, hey, let's, like I said, like I told you earlier, you know, this ain't, this ain't the biggest name podcast in the world, but, you know, I greatly appreciate people listening. And so I knew, I knew that I needed to do a better job with communicating every day, being there every day, being present every day, being accountable every day. And that's the reason why I'm telling you, you know, you build an audience, you grow an audience. The most important you can the most important thing you can do is every day, every day, every day. And you will see this happen with people like um let me see. I never I don't really know I haven't really followed people that had that start off like with a small channel and they really blew up but you know, you will see people and you'll you'll like a couple of their videos and you go, oh, let me go back. Because I always like to see people, you know, forget the, them now when they have the nice fancy cameras and the big shiny lights on them, you know, and the makeup and all that. <coughs> go back to the first video. Go back to the second video. And you want to see where people got started, you know. And... You'll see, you'll notice that more often than not, those people, they, they, they did an episode like every day. They did a show every day, every day, every day. Then when they get to a certain number, they pull back. I don't have to shoot as many videos, blah, 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 blah. But when you, when you've gotten used, when you, when you've gotten people used to that everyday situation and then you pull back and don't do it every day, it, it, it can lose you the, it can lose you the fans that's been with you from day one. It can lose you the faithful ones, you know. And then you got the ones, you got people who, you could have the same, you and I could have the same YouTube channel. And let's say you got 500,000 subscribers. We can have the same content. I, I have 25 subscribers. They're going to click on your YouTube channel first because you have 500,000 followers. Because people are sheep. This is true. You know this. And so, the more of an audience you can build up, the easy, the easier it is to get more people underneath your umbrella. Okay? And that's and that's a fact. The bigger the audience, this is why I tell you to grow your social media, to grow your business gain a bigger audience the bigger the audience the easier it is for you to make money the easier it is for you to gain more followers the easier it is for you to gain traction but you have to start somewhere so start recording every day start filming every day um i used to when i one of the best things i did in the beginning is i would record episodes 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 i would keep them some in the back and then, you know, let's say like if I was, uh, wasn't feeling well that day, I would upload that video. You know, sometimes when I record early, <clears throat> you have to remember this. This is where the organization comes from. You want to, because a lot of times I remember I used to, ta- I used to time stamp them with the, uh, I would say, hey, this is June 21st, 2020. You know, now I don't do that as much because you might want to put them in the can for later on. So record a, record a few episodes. Keep keep like four or five in handy if you do a show on a daily basis. So that way, if something happens to you that day, you can say, boom, let me upload the show. Boom. And you're still connected. Um, emails, you can build them out, build them up, and just have one sent every day, every day, every day, all day. And that's, so that's not a big deal. Uh, the same with uh, Facebook posts. If you want to write a Facebook post, uh, jot jot stuff down on paper. I would, um, and then you know, 
write them, save them on your on your computer, and then if you don't have a lot of time, you you know copy paste, boop, put it on your Facebook page, and away you go. There's a lot of different things that you could do. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, every day, every day, every day, stay with the audience. Every day, build it, build it up. The more you build it up, the better you, the, the better you will be. And the reason why I say that is because there's not that many people at the top. You know? It's better to be the 1%. There's not a lot at the 1%. There's plenty of people down there with, uh, with middling YouTube channels, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, please connect with your audience every day. It's very important. But... That's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with our new episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until then, my name is Tony D. Rizzano. Thank you for listening. And as always, everybody, peace.